The roseate spoonbill is an improbable bird. He's flamboyant at a distance with lush pink plumage spattered with reddish orange patches and trim. But up close, flamboyant turns to bizarre because of his prehistoric looking neck and head. Just as we humans experience hair loss with aging, spoonbills lose the feathers from the top of their heads as they get older. Though for them, it's probably a status symbol. Their dinosaur neck, though, especially in combination with that mad orange eye, is just inappropriate next to the bird's extravagantly fluffy pink body. And yet that very incongruity makes him all the more appealing. Oh, and let's not forget why he's named a spoonbill. I think his bill looks more like tongs or a pair of spatulas hinged together, but spoonbill will do for a goofy looking beak that doesn't deserve more of our notice. Oh, really? We should realize that the bird would be puzzled at our preference for an aquiline nose. For him, beauty lies in what works, and his bill is a little masterpiece of efficient design. He uses it to sweep through shallow water, usually less than five inches deep, back and forth, back and forth. He spends hours a day scouring the water, scooping up minnows, insects like water beetles, and most of all, 85% of his diet, the crustaceans that give his plumage its color. Those tiny crustaceans contain a lot of carotenoids, the pink pigments that give shrimp their coloration. Though, of course, the bird magnifies and emboldens the shrimp's colors. Back to that bill, though. It has vibration detectors on the inside. Small prey are swept through the double-sided spatula as it swivels around in the water, and the two halves snap closed as soon as they sense a wriggling shrimp. Oh sure, the spoonbill sometimes picks up items he sees in the water, but with a bill like that, he wouldn't have any trouble feeding himself if he were blind. It's common to see one of these spoonbills preen for half an hour at a time. Well, this bird does have a lot of plumage to clean, not to mention a beauty queen rep to maintain. I'd like to know why he shakes his bill so often in the process. Is he just shaking water off? Because it seems like more than that to me, but what the reason might be, I can't imagine. You know, where is Dr. Seuss when you need him? Just look at the rosiest spoonbill and tell me he doesn't belong in one of those books. And as for the head shaking, Dr. Seuss would have offered some silly bit of whimsy that nevertheless made perfect sense. But obviously Dr. Seuss isn't available. So I'll just say, feel free to offer your own whimsical or practical explanations in the comments.